What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Trailer Park Live right here on the 2nd Street Marvel where we're coming at you live every single Friday night at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time-ish. Daylight time-ish. Anyway, what's up, everybody? Thank you so much for being here today. I hope you're all having a very good day. I hope you had a good day. It's Friday night, and here we are on the trailer park live thank you all so much for being here now if this is your first time here what i typically do is go over some of the comic books that i pulled for the week and then we get in and talk about just different things that have happened throughout the week and we're going to start off no different than any other week except for weeks when there haven't really been comic books but i've somehow been finding ways to manage to talk about comic books at the beginning of the show still so, I gotta say, right off the bat, did you guys see, did you guys watch the video that I uh, dropped earlier yesterday, or later yesterday, uh, where I was talking about these comic books right here. I picked these up at Walmart. They were releasing comic books. We've got, these are uh, published by Alliance Arts and Entertainment, I believe. Um, they are putting these inside of Walmarts. They have nice little sidekicks that they're uh, putting there inside of the stores. And it's in the book section where you could probably find it in most stores, I'm guessing. So I went out and picked these up because these were the only new physical copies of books that released on Tuesday that I know of anyway. You know, that I know of. But basically what these books are is there's four titles here. And these books are Nora's Saga. Nora's Saga. Um, we've also got... Bass Reeves, Bass Reeves, U.S. Marshal Bass Reeves, as a matter of fact. Uh, we also got, uh, next we got Red Rooster, and the next one was The Futurists. Okay, so we got all the all of these books here um, that just released. These were uh, four ninety eight as opposed to the regular three ninety nine um, average price for com for most comic books out there. Out of you know, most of the publishers out there. Now, the thing about these comic books is is these were all released, I, be I believe all of them were released previously as crowdfunded projects through like Indiegogo or Kickstarter, one, one of those. I didn't, I didn't dive enough into it yet. I'm not that worried about it quite yet. Um, but I, uh, I picked these up and I did get a chance to read one of them. Uh, the one I uh, read first, which is funny because I believe one of the viewers here on the channel, on my video, said that they wanted me to, uh, the, 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 they wanted to, wanted me to do Bass Reeves first, right? Bass Reeves, and let me tell you, this guy's probably not related to Keanu. <laughs> okay, now, uh, Bass Reeves here was written by, uh, Kevin Gri Grivu. I'm, I'm, I'm sure I probably, I, I butchered that name. Uh, David Williams is the artist, Kelsey Shannon is the colorist, the color, uh, the cover was David Williams with Kelsey Sh Shannon. The letterer is Eric Weathers. Um, Hernan Oct Octavio, Octavio is the color flatter. Patrick Styles, the editor. Chris Kendrick, the design and layout. And you can go ahead and uh, see those, see those right here. Now, uh, the one thing that I didn't, uh, that I noticed right off the bat is that these books are all 4.98. And the, let's let's go ahead and do this because I didn't do this when I read the book. Let's count the pages. There's 
there's like 25 pages of actual story in here and then uh, you get here into the back and they actually had uh, these other two pages talking about this guy here uh, that this story is about this US Marshal uh, Bass Reeves and apparently this is basically based on a true story as far as I know and it also has it here in the back um, the same uh, the next thrilling episode arrives July 7th so Basically, this book was about, uh, you know, back at, God, what, I can't remember even what year it was, uh, 1875 in Indian Territory. And uh, what we see is there are, you know, there's a lot of sheriffs being killed in this small town and the judge wants to get uh, get them, uh, appoint them a, uh, a sheriff or a marshal to, you know, really bring in and uh, bring some more law to the land. Because uh, basically his problem right now is Indians. Um, he don't have people that speak the language when they're dealing with the tribes or anything like that. So that's what he's looking for. And so who he reaches out to is this guy Bass Reeves. And Bass Reeves, uh, at the time, it seemed like he was like a bounty hunter is what he was out uh, after. And he, uh, you can see here in the story, they have a bu some guys here uh, kind of telling some tall tales. The tall tales of Bass Reeves. Uh, as they're here uh, kind of going over their loot that they had just got from a... Uh, apparently from a bank that they had just robbed and of course they're sitting there telling all these tall tales and it's it's pretty funny you know you can see like you know like they're sitting there telling the tales and you know of course there's always the guy and they're like ah, you don't believe in none of that crap uh you know it just yeah so um that's pretty much all that happens he ends up going he ends up uh taking the taking these guys in and uh one guy becomes falls victim to you know resisting arrest i guess you could say and uh, then, then we go here uh, later where he's in court, in the courtroom just there. It looks like he's just observing maybe a court case he had something to do with. Maybe he had something coming up of this guy who's being on, uh, held on trial who is apparently uh, part of the, uh, what, what is he, um, he's, a, he's a, of the Seminoles. Um, and so they can't, there's a communication problem because uh, this other guy here that's, that uh, that's kind of like translating for him uh, don't know his language. Well, Bass Reeves steps up and tells him, like, hey, man, like, I, c I think I can help you out here, Judge. So he goes up there and he starts talking to the guy and he's... Did I just go Myrtle on you? I told you guys. I told you guys, man. Is it... <laughs> man, it didn't... Oh, this morning I was watching, this morning on the Den of Nerds Live, uh, Josh was actually saying that after the thing I did the other day with Myrtle on the show, on the morning stream, like, people, like, reached out to him and messaged him, like, hey, is, like, is, is, is Trinity okay? <laughs> and that's just hilarious, that's just hilarious. I mean, maybe there's probably some somebody who's, like, kind of new here because I haven't really done the Myrtle thing in a while and I think oh man I get I, I thought that was absolutely hilarious when they're like you know like they're reading reaching out to other creators like hey man like so and so okay like oh man that's hilarious that's hilarious anyway so Bass Reeves kind of steps in and helps translate for this guy and uh, he basically shakes the guy down and um uh, Get, gets all in his face and the guy fesses up. He's a, he was Mexican. He wasn't an Indian. So he w basically wasn't allowed to be on these lands because he got arrested for, uh, you know, having bootleg liquor and he was in uh, territory where he wasn't supposed to be and he was trying to basically find amnesty by saying he was part of the tribe and all that kind of stuff. So then we've, uh, we, he, you know, uh, the judge ends up offering him a job as being a, a U.S. Marshal. Uh, wants to, you know, make, uh, make him a sheriff, you know, help to help around, you know, since he kind of knows the law of the land and everything and what he does anyway already. And he, he tells the judge, he's like, nope, don't want to do it. So then, of course, he goes home and, you know, you see his home life, you know, you see his... You get to meet his kids and his wife, and of course later he tells his wife about the offer from the judge, and you guys would never believe what happens. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. He ends up becoming a sheriff, and he ends up going out to uh, round up some bad guys. Yeah. So we know, we know here, obviously, uh, at some point something's going to, uh, some of this stuff, what he's doing, becoming this uh, U.S. Marshal, he's going to end up affecting his personal life at some point, especially when we get here in the back where they give us a little brief history of uh, Bass Reeves. 
So, it's interesting. I thought this one was actually a pretty decent book. For four ninety eight. 24 pages. I mean, I gotta say, in most, in most of the big publishers, Marvel, DC, when they do this, they add those couple extra pages. They end up costing a dollar more. But, they're giving us a deal here. These are Walmart books. One, they put their nice little stickers on there. Put those nice little stickers on the cover there. Gotta love it. And two, they gave us a penny off. Instead of $4.99, it's $4.98. Hey. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Altogether, I thought Bass Reeves was actually a pretty good comic book. Um, it, wa it wasn't too bad. Uh, the art in it is, pretty, is, is good as well. Coloring and everything. I thought it was a pretty decent book. Um... I do think that... <laughs> am, I, am I supposed to point this out or not? Oh, man. Okay. Here at the beginning... The, uh, the, the sheriff is talking to the reverend about... He's like, he says, I won't lose another lawman, reverend. I won't. The reverend says, that's not your call, judge. That belongs to the Lord above you. You know better. Yeah, but I don't have to like it. Tribal lands are effect are effectively foreign territories. They don't trust the outsiders, have no respect for the law. Hell, the lawmen don't even speak the lawmen we have don't even speak the language. What are you gonna do, Sheriff? Call in more lawmen? So they're going on and on and on. He says, Why? So I can deliver more bad news to more widows? No, this time has to be different. How, Judge? We need a new kind of lawman. We need one of these lawmans, not like this lawman, this white guy lawman. We need some diversity on our teams. <laughs> what? That's what it came. To, that, that, that's what it ended up being. It was diversity. I'm not saying that it was the uh, forced diversity hire. Good lord, this was back in the western days. This was back in 1875. They would have never done such a thing back then. Would have never done such a thing. So either this is fiction. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, guys. Uh, no, Bass Reeves actually here. This book was actually pretty good. I really did like it. The art in it was good. The writing was pretty good. It flowed. Um, it actually genuinely left me wanting to read the next issue next month. It did. And I'm not sure if these books are going to be releasing every single month or if they're doing weekly releases uh, with with these books. Because like this week there was four books that they released. And um, I think in the back of this one it says uh, ne basically next month on um, on July 7th. Uh, I didn't check the rest of these. Uh, what's, what's the Futurists say? Uh, that's the only one I got to read. I, I, I got into the other one. Yeah, July 7th on that one. Uh, Red Rooster... Uh, let me see. I'm guessing it's probably going to be July 7th as well. Let me see. Um, does this not have one? Yeah, July 7th. Um, and then Nor Nor's Saga, I believe that one says July 7th as well. So, um, they're going to be doing monthly on, on at least these four titles. Do they have more than four titles? I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. I didn't look into the press releases or anything that they were doing with Allegiance Arts. But, hey, we got some new comic books. Uh, I got to tell you, it started started off pretty good uh, with Bass Reeves. I thought it was a decent, I thought it was a decent book. Uh, now, the next one, I actually kind of got into this one a little bit, was Nor's Saga. Now this one, uh, basically what we find at the beginning is just, there's this young girl, Nora, who she's there at this museum, and her mother is now a curator for this this museum. Her father is, you know, quirky, and he's all in social medias. He's, yes, he's all, he's so cool. <laughs> he's so cool. He's like, hey guys, look at me. Let's take some selfies, guys. I'm so beautiful. Look at them cheekbones. Look at them cheekbones, guys. Don't be jealous. Hey. <laughs> anyway, um, 
Um, this one actually started off kind of interesting because uh, what they're doing, uh, her, her mother, uh, this young girl, uh, Nora, and her, uh, her mother is this curator for this museum. But they're digging into and they're talking, uh, she starts talking about, uh, she, the, the, Nora gets interested in this painting that's there. And, she, and she's like, oh, she's like, what's this? And she's like, well, you know, uh, that's, that's Thor and that's Odin. You know, you're probably used to seeing them in the movies, huh? But this is a little bit different. And then she uh, shows, uh, there's a p picture there with Loki as well. She's kind of telling about the history and everything. And the girl's kind of intrigued. And next thing you know, um, or, you know, the daughter, she wasn't really into it before that. Uh, they're in the car driving home and the girl's kind of asking questions about Loki and why her mother likes Loki and just they're having a little conversation. That's really about all the farther I got into the book. I don't know, maybe about two, three pages into the book. It seemed like it was okay. It's going to be like a Viking Norse mythology in Eastern Canada kind of thing. They are in Canada. So, uh, this book was, uh, actually written by Blake North, uh, Blake Northcott. Uh, the artist and cover artist was Kelsey Shannon. Um, design and layout was Chris Kendrick. Uh, Patrick Styles was the creator. Eric Weathers was the letterer. Hernan Octavio is the color flatter. I have a, I don't know what a color flatter is. And Patrick Styles was the editor. You know, you can see some of that art right there. Altogether, I got into this one too. Like I said, a couple pages in, and it seemed interesting. seemed seemed not too bad. And the art in the in the book actually looks actually looks pretty decent uh, I'll show you a little bit show you a little bit more um, yeah it wasn't it wasn't too bad can't wait to read uh, get into some more of these and read them and see how more of these books are uh, now again the thing is, is these are in Walmart you know am I am I ditching my local comic book shop for Walmart and gonna be there every week no but I might go check out these books and see how they are do some reviews on them right yeah I don't know and as a matter of fact, I've actually got some more comic books on the way. I just got a, uh, you know, some of those, what is it? The UPS informed, US, USPS informed delivery. You know, you can get on the internet and you can check and see what mail's getting ready to come your way. How convenient. Because you just want to see those bills before they get to your mailbox, right? Bills that still come in anyway. You know, most of you, you probably pay for paperless billing and all that crap. Or, you know, don't pay for paperless, but you know, you know what I mean. Oh, you all being eco-friendly. And that's okay. Like, I don't know. Sometimes I still like getting paper bills in. But anyway. Um. Where was I? I got. I checked my informed delivery. And I see I've got two packages coming in. One should be coming in Monday or Tuesday. Can't wait to get that package in. It's going to be very interesting. Um, it's a book. It's a package I'm being sent from the great folks over at uh, Impact Theory Comics. And then I've got another one that should be coming in on uh, next Thursday. This one should be coming in from Splato Comics. And I'm very interested and just can't wait to get those in so we can uh, take a look at those. So, yeah, that's that's really all I got for uh, comic books, uh, like, like as far as these ones. And as far as ones I got coming in, uh, I also dropped my review earlier this week for Hawkman issue number 23. A great, great jumping on point. If you want a good comic book, uh, DC comic book to read, go read Hawkman. Robert Venditti has been doing a great job writing the Hawkman series. I just hopped on, uh, if, and if you watched the video, you could, you'd, you'd know this, but I hopped on at issue number 10, and then I think uh, issue number 10, 11, and 12 uh, were the finish of like a story arc, and then it started over on issue number 13, and issue number 13 of Hawkman kind of goes in and really starts, uh, tells us a history of Carter Hall, and just um, a lot of these things, we, we, the story unfolds, and it was a really great jumping on point for the character. Um, I kind of got invested at that point. And then, you know, as, as it went over through those next, uh, through these next 10 issues, they were basically all tied into kind of like the year of the villain that was happening last, last year in DC. And I, I won't confess to know a whole lot about what went on there, but in, I thought in these books, it was actually handled, uh, pretty decently. Um, like I said, I didn't know a whole lot about year of the villain, but Hawkman was taken over and possessed by one of his past lives at some point. And uh, he became evil. Uh, he got taken over by his past life, and he was called Sky Tyrant, who was trying to, you know, take over the world and, you know, basically taken over for him. Um, Sky Tyrant was actually part of uh, Earth 3, which is basically like the mirror universe. It's the dark dimension. 
of uh, DC. Interesting stuff. I won't confess to know a whole lot about it. I thought it was pretty well handled in this book, everything that happened. And issue 23 was a great point for getting into the series because it kind of caps off uh, these, this, this run of books and starts a new one. But this issue seemed like it was one that was like a standalone kind of book. Okay, and because it, it, it ends this series, this 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 sort of arc if you will and is beginning off uh, the way it begins and then the way it ends leaves off getting ready to launch us off into the next arc but this one was very interesting because it kind of it took place uh back in what was it 1860s 1860s spain so and it looked like it, you know i'm guessing maybe around the time of a plague because he is there uh, one of his past selves is there and he's got like one of those like plague mask things you know looks but it's like but it looks like a hawk man but it looks like hawk man instead of like you know just all plain black and everything so it was it was uh very cool so you, you could see that he was uh saying he's part of the census going door to door and um eventually he got he kind of got captured he got captured by the people who uh they're the townspeople who thought he was basically the guy spreading this stuff and they were going to burn him like a witch and then he ended up getting saved by his, his, basically his love of his life, who's tied into all his lifetimes and all that stuff. Uh, she steps in to save him. They, wa they walk away and all, like, it is a really good story. But the thing is about the story, it was, it was supposed to come out last month, right? Hawkman issue number 23 should have come, come out back in March. The interesting thing here is the book tells, is telling the story about the plague and the way the people are acting, everything that was in it. There's some very great language that was used in it, but it really had to do with what's going on right now with the current situation, with the pandemic and everything uh, going on in the world right now. I thought it was, a, it was just like a really well-placed book, you know, it just, it just seemed like it was very odd, but also, uh, if, if, I'm not sure if you guys know, but um, uh, before all this stuff started, like right before um, we this all the uh, all the all the uh, the this, this stuff with the, the current pandemic started as well. There was another book released by AWA. That's artists, writers, and artisans. Um, and they you know they have they have these collected editions. They're called Upshot Now. But they put out this book called The Resistance, written by Mike Diodato, Jr. And wasn't that right? And J. Michael Straczynski, maybe Mike Diodato did the art and J. Michael Straczynski did the writing. I don't know. I'm not really familiar with these guys, but I know those, I think those names are the names that are attached to it. But anyway, it kind of told about the same kind of stuff that's going on right now too. So I thought just some very interesting comic books out there. But yeah, those are the, those are the only ones I really got this week. Oh, and Neon Future. I talked about Neon Future issue number seven a lot this morning. Neon Future issue number seven was a great kickoff to volume two of neon future man i was reading like the second like it got past the, the you know the catching you up part at the very beginning of the book you know they they get, give you like three pages there maybe four uh where you can uh kind of catch up on the story if you didn't get to read the first volume or if you just needed a refresher and then like the second i turned the page and started reading what's going on i'm like oh dude this is great i see what's going on like like it was awesome. Uh, like I said, the, what they're doing at Impact Theory with their books, it's very, the books are very, very tropish. They play on a lot of stuff. Like, you read them and it's like, oh, this feels familiar. And I think all cyberpunk does anyway in the first place. But it's like a cyberpunk, dude, it's so great. Issue number seven started off awesome. I can't wait to read the next five issues getting ready to come out before they start volume three, man. Because they, they have a planned... Uh, they do have a planned 18 issues is what they planned on putting out on this book. Issue number seven was great. Again, the art in the book, uh, phenomenal. Love Impact Theories books, man. They're putting out good stuff. They're putting out good stuff. And I, I you know, Neon Future is uh, one more aimed at, obviously, you know, adults and stuff like that, where they got the one that I was talking about, was it last week, the week before, called Hexagon, which is one more for younger audiences. But I got to tell you, I really thought that book is actually good too. Very reminiscent. Uh, reminiscent of the last starfire so anyway guys that's all the comic books i got for today we'll go ahead and talk about a few more things we want to talk about and uh before we do that i'm gonna get in and say what's up to everybody here in the live chats we got 12 of you here 11 likes thank you guys so much for being here and liking the video oh maybe it's 11 likes is there one dislike did somebody leave a dislike <laughs> If so, it's all good. I don't mind dislikes. It's all good. Uh, Mike Porter says, Woohoo! A new video! Yeah, man. Uh, live streaming time, man. Um, I hope you're doing well. Hope you had a good day, Mike. LB is here. Uh, 
was hanging out with LB while I was reading some comics. Uh, he was uh, rewatching uh, Return of the or the Empire. Yeah, yeah, Empire Strikes Back. Um, was in there, in there, just kind of hanging out, listening to uh, him watch that. It was kind of entertaining. It wasn't. You know what's funny is it wasn't very even like interrupted while I was sitting there reading my comic book. Neither it kind of it worked. You know, instead of like having music or something, I could hear. You know, hey. Anyway, it was it was good. Uh, Unstoppable Cockbaka says can't can't stop the cock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. hell busy. Uh, oh, ho hope you're doing good, Marquise. Uh, read Angela Del Morte Trinity. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say I think I you were mentioning that this morning. I'll have, I'll look into that. Is that one of the ones that came out on through Comicsology? Yeah. Uh, Fan Jexture must be drinking already. He says, what's up, bitches? Random bad creator says, hail Chad, hail Trinity. How are you doing, Brad? Uh, he says, cheers. Yeah, I, sorry, man. No beers today. No beers. I've been trying to, been trying to, you know, well, I don't know. I would say cut back, but I don't really drink much anyway. Tommy, thank you so much for being here. Um, <clears throat> Fan Jexture says, are we really watching a bald man count? Yeah, you watched a bald man count. Should have done that before. Tracy Woody, thank you so much for being here. I hope all is well with you. Um, <laughs> you're killing me. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's funny. Myrtle! Yeah, man, Myrtle. <laughs> He's off. Oh, man. <laughs> hope all is well over the pond. Yeah, doing okay. Doing okay, man. Um, Trev Fishburne says, you just, uh, you just go off to work. What do you, uh, what do you stream about? Um, oh, just got off work. Uh, just here on the trailer park live is, uh, typically what I do here is I go over comic books first and then I get into and talk about just some of the things that have happened throughout the week. Uh, if there's some really intense stuff, this is where I usually, this is, this is more like the R rated show where I'm usually cursing and screaming and going crazy and acting like I'm fucking Alex Jones. I act like Alex Jones, except for I don't, I don't want to eat your ass. Not yours, anyway. I feel like I just walked myself into something new. I'm not going to say anything else. That was pretty fucked up, wasn't it? <laughs> Motherfuckers probably in here and shit like, man, this motherfucker is a freak. You hear what this motherfucker just said? This motherfucker just said he's like Alex Jones and he will eat your ass, but not you, Trev. So does that mean that this motherfucker will eat some ass? Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Terrazon, thank you so much for being here. Hope all is well with you. Hope everything is going well. Um, been keep uh, kind of get, get, getting on Instagram, seeing seeing some of your posts and everything with everything everything going on, some of your different face masks and stuff. Awesome, good stuff. Uh, we need Mia Khalifa and <laughs> as MCU's Ms. Marvel. Yeah, I don't know, man. Isn't she kind of a burnout? Terrazon, yeah, yeah, yeah. Modern, modern. Uh, Lorena, how you doing? Hope everything. Oh, hope everything is going okay for, with you. I missed the Queen's Council this week. What was I doing? I might have I might have been sleeping, man. Guys, I, things have been crazy here lately, man. With all this, everything going on right now, I've had to reshift things in my business. I've been working different hours. My training schedule has uh, slowly ratcheted up. And like this morning, I woke up at 4.30 a.m. And uh, man, I'm telling you, man, I'm freaking dragging. Dragging. Not dragon breath, but I'm dragon, man. Uh, been, been a long day, been a long week. This is the third week of, uh, I'm in the third week of my current phase of workouts right now. So I'm in that week, you know, like, like where you're starting to feel really fucking great, you know what I mean? Like that third week, um, and it's the third week of the third training block. So I'm at the end of a 90, 90 day training block, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I'm there, I'm fucking there. And you know how you get on that last week, you know, you got third week, you know, I, I might work out, I might... I might end up working out next week to extend my my training by another week. But, you know, you're sitting there, you feel like fucking Superman, you know? You start the workout, you're so full of energy, and by the end of the day, like, because cause you're, cause you're slowly increasing throughout the weeks, more and more hours, more and more training, really tightening down the knobs, pushing harder, you're improving, you're getting gains, and all that shit. And, like, like that third week, you're feeling fucking great. 
But man, I'm telling you, man, you feel it. You feel the workouts. Even though you're feeling great, you feel the workouts, man. Shit. These past two weeks, man, the nights get the nights get here so fast, and I've just been so damn just dead tired. But I've also been waking up super early in the morning too, like uh, four thirty, five in the morning uh, most of the time. So, yeah, right. Um, and thanks again for being here, uh, uh, Lorena. Um, Fanjecture. Okay, everybody's saying what's up, Fenrir Fire. Thank you so much for being here. Gosh, Fenrir. What stream was it we were on the other day? Comic Book News, right? Isn't that what it was? Where they had Steve Jeppy on there? Yeah. yeah. It was a pretty, I don't know, interesting stream. Um, finish, finishing up work on a final project I have to turn in tomorrow. Hope you're doing well. All right. All right. Um, good luck with that. Good luck. Uh, doing my head in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's see what else. I can't wait to pick those up. I missed the IgG campaign for those uh, for those three. Oh, which yeah, I was gonna say that there's there's four of them. There's four of them. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I was gonna say and that's the one thing that I will I will give them on these is because these were all um, crowd crowd funded things, and here you're paying four ninety eight. Instead of having to pay, I don't know how much they were originally on the crowd fund. You know, because a lot of the books, you know, they do like, the, depending on depending on what they do. Because a lot of times, you know, a lot of creators will put out uh, graphic novels or trade paperbacks as opposed to single issues. But even if you buy a single issue, and even if it was three ninety nine or four ninety eight, like like this one is four ninety eight. Um, even if even if you do that, you still got to pay shipping. You know, and you're paying shipping per each book, and you know it just it just ends up uh, making driving the price up. But yeah, I didn't know about these books before. Picked them up, and yeah, they actually seem like pretty good books so far. Seem like pretty good books. Um, if you get them, do uh, let us know what you think about them, man. Um, let's see. Everybody say what's up. Mike Porter says Trinity can do characters. Read the book with different voices the whole way. Yeah, <laughs> I can, man. Like, like that's something like um, I, I was talking about this the other day too. Like, like I'm kind of I'm like. <sighs> I wouldn't like I wouldn't say like I'm a great at everything but you know I always like to say that I'm a jack of all trades but I'm only I'm only master of one and that one being life. Uh, you got to 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 do stuff for yourself. You got to continue learning. You got to uh, you got you got to want things. You know, you got to want better things. You got to want to you know what I mean? Like you got to be good. like I'm I guess what it is is I'm a creative person you know I mean I guess I and I'm not trying to toot my own horn here or anything but like like an artist and stuff because like you know I love I love to draw I love to make music I love to you know I love to work out I love riding my bike I love there's so many different things I mean I bake cakes I do cakes yeah I like fucking decorate cakes and like super badass cakes and shit um I do that uh I I do videos here now I do like I, I do so much man like <sighs> yeah, it's different, but but that's one of the other things I did, like, you know, growing up, like, I always liked voice actors and, and things like that as well, you know, trying different voices out, one of the things I loved doing was, like, impersonating people, you know, I love to impersonate people, um, and so I used to do a lot of that, and, and the thing is, is when you impersonate people, a lot of people, some people take offense and think you're mocking them and that kind of stuff, and yeah, sure, sometimes it's a little bit about that, and but it's not always, because the thing is, is when you do, when you're impersonating somebody, you, like, if you can, if you can impersonate them spot on, congratulations, but when you're doing that and you want to impersonate somebody spot on, you got to kind of do the things that they do and would say, and say the things that they would say, right? Impersonating them. Now, the thing is, is like, I also like to uh, do that and do silly things with it. I've, obviously, as you guys see, like I do with Myrtle, you know, and do things like that because it's just fun. It's something fun, different to do, being creative. It's fun as hell to do because like, <laughs> we all know that one skit Myrtle did, right? <laughs> we all know that one, right? Um, that was fucking fun as hell to do. Just like the one I did yesterday, um, and you know I was gonna message your boys, act be like, hey man, like I did this video, like I hope you're not mad. Like he seems like he got a sense of humor anyway. I'd be like, hey, like I did this video, like, like would you check it out anyway? Let me just let me know what you think, or like it's it's no offense, just it's all in good fun. I'm just being fucking silly because it was actually really fun to make. 
uh, because I love his style of videos. It cracks me up the style of videos he does when he does some of those comic book reviews and stuff where he's sitting in his car reading the com <laughs> or talking about the comics. It's hilarious. And his commentary on a lot of this stuff makes me laugh. A lot of times he has good points. And uh, I don't know. It's just his videos are funny. So I'm like, hey, I'm like, I want to do one like that. Like maybe one of these days I'll, I'll go and impersonate somebody else. But I've got another one already that I've uh, put in a little bit of work uh, getting some stuff ready to do some impersonations uh, of somebody else as well. But I want to kind of do, I, I want to do a lot of that. But the thing is, is, like I said, when you go and impersonate somebody, somebody like, People take offense because they think you're making fun of them and shit like that. And it's like, it's not really like that. You know, especially for me, like, that's why I kind of do it with the Myrtle thing. So people look like, what the fuck is this guy? Like, what the fuck? fuck I mean, what the fuck? Like, I'm not even like, like, what the fuck? You know, just because that's, it's Myrtle. Right? Oh, <laughs> uh, what about Red Rooster? Yeah, I haven't read that one. Yova Rhodes, thank you so much for being here. What about the Crimson Cock Trinity? You didn't review it? No, not yet. Not yet. Not the Crimson Cock. Gotta roll. Have a great stream. All right, have a good one, uh, Lorena. Thank you so much for being here. Snow Dub Music and Entertainment says a $2 super chat. Says some, for, <laughs> some funds toward Trinity Booty Eating Fund. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. Um, Unstoppable says, uh, Trinity's rant is second to none. Can talk for 30 minutes without acknowledging the chat. <laughs> I'm a nerd, man. I know. I can't help it. I can't help it. <laughs> Plus, you know, and it was funny because I was, I'll, I'll get, I'll get into that in a minute. I'll, I'll, we'll get back to that in just a minute. Um, it's a talent for sure. <laughs> I may or not, may, I may or may not have had a couple earlier. Oh, you did. Um, I have a soothing voice while you act like you're reading. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what? You mean not everybody uses cue cards? Aggressively relaxing says, Star Wars could have been so good, but Empire destroyed the franchise. Shaking my damn head. I know. I know. It's a travesty. It's a travesty. It's a travesty. By the way, have you guys joined Aggressively Relaxing's fan group? His Star Wars fan group? You should. You should. <laughs> Same. All right. Yeah. A couple things. All right. Uh, I recommend Deadbeat um, Imaginary Friend. Deadbeat Imaginary Friend. I'm currently uh, working on a script for it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Deadbeat imaginary friend. Nice, nice. All right. Jenner Chet. Yeah. Woo. Um, who's asked do you want to eat, Trinity? Oh, man. I know. And Snowdub came in right at the right time. Like, Snowdub walked right... He came into the conversation right at the right time. Like, he probably walked in here and was like, holy shit, what did I just walk into? This motherfucker talking about eating ass. Dixie, thank you so much for being here. I just farted. No saving yourself there. I know. I know. I know. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, if you super chat $20, Jenny will eat your ass. <laughs> oh, no ranch <laughs> ass. I was just here to hit like, say hi, and leave because I think I'm cool, but forgot to leave, so I might, <laughs> so I might as well stay, second street. Yeah, you might as well. <laughs> Who knows? I might eat your ass. <laughs> oh, early to bed, early to rise. Makes a man healthy. Yeah, I guess. Wealthy and wise. Yeah, uh, yeah, maybe so. I guess we'll see. We'll see how it pays off. <laughs> Finjection says it is only a matter of time when Marvel and DC make and an exclusive distribution deal with a big box like Target or Walmart. Um, oh, is it only a matter? Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. I, I mean, because they've already got, like Marvel and DC already has books that they do. Um, they send out to um, Target. Uh, or I don't know about Target, but Walmart for sure anyway. Um, at least DC does. I know they, they, they've been doing that, but I'm pretty sure Marvel has some that they've been doing uh, at Walmart as well. So I, I don't think that I don't think they'll be going that way. They know that like some people would argue that, but they they know that the the publishers know that their customer 
goes to the LCSs and stuff like that, and the ones who don't are, uh, you know, might get them digitally online, or maybe even pirate them. But you know, most of the people who read comics are going to the comic shop to get them. Um, I, I mean, we'll we'll see how these ones do. These Allegiance Arts ones, how they do at Walmart. Um, whether they can keep up with uh, keep a certain uh, supply going out of these books, or if they can even keep pushing them out um, regularly. I guess we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Um, TK's Bat Cave. How are you doing? I hope all is well today. Hope everything's going good for you. Uh, Dixie says, I live long and prosper. <laughs> Working it, brah. Yeah. Impersonating is the highest form of flattery. Well, that's what they say, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, some people don't appreciate it, damn it. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> Let me tell you. Some people don't appreciate it. <laughs> Especially even when it's done in like completely, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh man. Um, uh, thanks. Uh, uh, OLB, he didn't get your joke. What? What do you mean? Didn't get what joke? <laughs> oh no, I know what he was saying. I know what he was saying about the like. You know, just I'm just stopping in to say. Yeah, no, I know what he. <laughs> yeah, no, I got it. Oh man, that's funny. It's, um, but yeah, no, I totally got it. Yeah, like, hey, dro just drop in for a second, say hi, what's up, leave you a like, later. I left Max, oh, I'm sorry, I left Jeremy a message about that today on his live stream, because last night, Geeks and Gamers Entertainment did a live stream, and they were talking about some serious stuff. And one of the things he says is he supports small channels... So what he does is he goes to the small channels and likes their videos and leaves them a comment. Because when you're a small channel, those things mean stuff. They make you feel good. Right? Because that's what we need as YouTubers. Somebody to come up, invade your personal space. Hey. Hey. Give you a little pat on the back. Good job. Great video. I left you a like. I only hung out in your video for like 30 seconds, long enough to type this, this comment. And I took off. I didn't watch the other, you know, the other six and a half minutes. But I watched the 30 seconds. And you're doing a good job. I support you. I'm here for you. Here's your pat on the back. But I left him a message. I told him, like, you know what? Don't. Don't. I would rather, you know what? Because they're talking about likes. I'm like, you know what? You know what? I would rather you come to my video. I'd rather you come to my video and watch every fucking second of my video and not leave a like and not leave a comment. Just watch every damn second. of Watch it from the beginning to the, to the end without skipping any of it. Just watch it all. You don't even have to leave a like and a comment. Just watch the whole damn video. And feel free to leave a like and a comment if you want to. You know what I mean? Because we all, know, we all know, like, if you're a YouTuber, you know how stuff works. You don't need people out there just... You know about them dead subs. You know about your watch time and retention time. It's not, it's not about pats on the back to make you fucking feel good. Leave them a comment. After you watch the video saying, hey, like... I like this, you know, maybe something they can prove on, something you really liked about the video, you know, if that's what you want to do to really be supportive. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, we all know how it is. I know LB certainly fucking knows how it is, you know what I'm saying? Like, he certainly knows how it is. <laughs> when he reads this, he will say, what joke? What joke? But I mean, I literally had to say it because you typed it. He said, when he reads this, he will say, what joke? I, I had to say it because that's what I'm saying. What? What joke? <laughs> How do blind people know when they <laughs> when they are done wiping their ass? <laughs> Dixie, I don't even want to... I don't even want to speculate on that, man. I, I, <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Ask Matt Murdock 
aggressively says, I have a video I am about to release where I impersonate Vin Scully, a baseball, uh, the baseball announcer. And then he went into the hospital and I can't release it. So he goes home. Nice. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Does not. Oh man. Does not. That's funny. Perry Comics is lurking. Are you lurking again, Perry? Are you lurking me? Stories by Iris says, uh, swings in like George of the Jungle, right? <laughs> How you doing, Stories by Irish? Hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, Perry Comics, man, in here lurking. Uh, you cook toilet paper by burning it on one side, then throwing it in the pot. You cook toilet paper? What? <laughs> oh, you should eat some... <laughs> Marquis says, Second Street Marvel should eat some 8th Street Latino <laughs> No, man, I don't know, man. You put that name Street in there, it just sounds dirty. Damn it. Damn it. It's two times tonight. Who said they do what? <laughs> do what? Oh, man. Oh, man. You guys are cracking me up. Okay. Uh, LB says... I watch all your videos because I'm almost not, because I'm almost not a fraud. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Oh, Snow Dev says I just let the, I just let this shit play and do stuff around the house or at work for the morning show. Yeah, and that's what I do too. Like, um, and I, I talked about that before. Like, what I do, uh, in the morning or even sometimes I'm going to sleep depending on when a video releases. I literally like because. That's why I pay for the YouTube for the the YouTube premium or whatnot because I'm always because I work a lot you know I'm out driving you know I have my phone there and you know I want to hear you know just some of these videos and shit what people are saying so I will download the videos on there and I put them on the play while I'm out driving around listening to what people are saying you know with listening to videos and that's you know that's about it I listen to it while I'm doing other stuff uh, you know one time. Um, I was, you know, when I, when I get new, fr uh, fresh orders of freight in, I make sure I have some, I always hope that somebody's doing live streams. If not, I put on my, uh, list of, of downloaded videos. And I just put it on, boop, play it and just, and just let it go and just let it go. And I mean, I listen to music plenty, plenty and stuff too, but yeah, I mean, when there's videos going on, yeah, if there's no, if somebody didn't upload new videos, I got some, I got downloaded. I just listen to them, you know, and doing that, I mean, I end up being there for the whole video. And most of them, I watch the whole videos. Like a lot of the time, like some of the times when I would get on live streams. And here's the thing: is like I said, I don't leave comments on a lot of the time, especially over on, especially over on Geeks and Gamers Entertainment. They got some sensitive fans that are easily triggered. Kind of like that other one. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah, you got, you got, you got my, you got my fucking watch time. You got my like. I'm not leaving a fucking comment. Plus, you know, um, I can't remember if I put that in the, like, the, you know, he really leaves nothing to say. Just get done watching the video, like. Yep. <laughs> and by the way, did you guys catch a stream last night? Did you guys go to Geeks and Gamers Entertainment last night and watch the stream? Oh, man, I'm telling you, it was fucking great. That's the best fucking entertainment I had all fucking week. Okay, and I gotta tell you, earlier this week, I woke up to a video of a guy talking about China being fucking racist against black people. Like, this is fucking news, right? Like, this is fucking news, and he's like, like, ooh, this is new. The Chinese people in China, they're fucking racist. You don't say. Is this fucking news to you? F Dude. Fucking Chinese people hate other fucking Asians. They're racist against other fucking Asians. I think all Asians are racist against other Asians. They fucking hate each other. Maybe not an intent, but you know what I'm saying. It's like, seriously. Seriously, have you ever been, like, I don't give a fuck, like, and fucking Filipinos. You ever been around the, dude, I'm telling you, Filipino people act like they're fucking God's gift to fucking people. Of, like, the Asian culture, dude, it's fucking hilarious. Like, Asian cultures are funny. I'm not making fun of them, like, like they're bad or anything, like, Asian cultures are funny. And the thing is, is, like, they, like, most of, most of them don't buy into all this 
PC, politically correct fucking bullshit, any of that. They're just, like, they are not like that. I'm sure the Americanized ones are. You've been here too fucking long if you're sensitive. But seriously, like, I'm, like this is how I started the week off. Started the week off with people being fucking surprised. The Chinese people are racist in China against black people during COVID-19. Oh, man. Shouldn't have said that. You know what I'm saying. During this pandemic and stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, really? Really? <laughs> you made this long-ass video talking about this? This is not news. So believe me when I say that was pretty entertaining. But I'm telling you, Geeks and Gamers Entertainment last night fucking takes the fucking cake out of fucking hilarity. Go back and watch the video. I think... No, did did Myrtle share it? I can't remember if Myrtle shared it or not. It's fucking gold. <laughs> fucking gold, man. No, 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 not not gold, man. Gold man is like... Uh, Max is Max's homie. And that dude actually seems alright. Have you been over to uh, Geeks and Gamers? You know, Jeremy's friend, uh, Jeremy, Jeremy's friend, uh, uh, Goldman. Um, the other, the other morning on, on, on Tuesday, on, or no, on Monday, when did all the Star Wars live streams together, um, Goldman actually went on before me. Have you, have you guys seen that dude? He actually seems like an alright guy. He actually seems like an alright guy. Uh, seen, seen, seen him on the, on the shows playing, like, no, he's all right. He seems he seems okay. Maybe I need to. I subscribe to his channel and I need to go put in some time. You know, watching watching some of his videos, and seeing what seeing what he's all about. Cause he seems like an all right guy. He seems like an all right guy. Um. Let's see. Unstoppable. Oh man, it jumped again. It jumped again. It jumped again. Unstoppable says, I respect your videos enough uh, not to share, like, or comment. <laughs> right? <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, but you watch them. That's what's important. The thing that's most important that you watch it from the beginning to the end. Don't click away, damn it. <laughs> oh, man. LB says, you know, you know what, Wild? YouTube releases videos about all this stuff on how to grow your grow a channel in YouTube studio, but YouTubers uh, still be saying foolishness. Oh, I know. I know. They, I know, man. <laughs> That's the whole thing. We all know the sub for sub. Hey, I'm here to support your thing. Like, oh, just, just subscribe to the channels that you like. Watch their videos. Like, like I said, for me, I don't even care if you like the video and leave comments. Just, just at the, at the least, just watch the full whole fucking video just the whole fucking video just the whole video <laughs> iris says ha, ha, ha. she's laughing number one marvel fan says hmm what is the theme tonight um well no no real theme tonight well i talked about some comic books here as we always do at the very beginning of the show here on the trailer park live our uh youtube's premier number one prime time show going strong for over a year now uh, start off talking about comic books and then we get in and just talk about different topics and things that have happened throughout the week. Um, Fanjection says, uh, you know how you get people to watch your shit? Don't make shitty shit. Yeah, right, right, yeah, yeah. Don't make shitty shit. Fanjection, man, that's tough. You know what? It is. You know, it's, it, sometimes it takes like, once you get viewers there and sometimes you get, you get into a thing like, look at Perry Comics. I'm not sure if he's still here. Look what he did. Like he's been talking about comics as long. He's a comic guy. does a lot of comics, but he started doing, um, re like watching the MCU movies. He had never seen them before. He started doing some videos like LB's doing with the Star Wars videos and they've been doing him really good. Uh, he's just, he's just releasing, you know, like 15, 20 minute videos of him recapping and reacting to these uh these movies uh so and he, dude he's he's been blowing up man he's been blowing up meanwhile i'm sitting here yanking my tally whacker trying to keep my business afloat doing a bunch of live streams not releasing a whole bunch of videos lately <sighs> and believe me i've got a whole bunch of fucking videos i video ideas i've just been so busy did that come across as towards trinity i meant people not him i already watch his shit <laughs> <clears throat> no you're good i never leave comments but i'm watching yeah 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 uh, Rut Row, he talking about the pool boy. <laughs> oh, I stopped watching him months ago. Oh yeah, no, no, I, yeah, no, I don't, I don't, I don't watch that one. 
I figured I figured since uh I figured Max Max wants to be Jeremy so bad. I just started calling him Jeremy. He's just Jeremy to me now. He's just Jeremy. He's just Jeremy. Um I mean, he renamed he renamed his channel Geeks and Gamers Entertainment and he wants to make Geeks and Gamers great again. He wants to make movies talk great again. Yet he never fucking talks about movies on his channel. But he wants to be Jeremy, so I'm giving him what he wants. He wants to be Geeks and Gamers Entertainment? He gets to be Jeremy. So I call him Jeremy now. No. I'm not calling him Josiah Rises. I think he would be offended. I think he would be offended by that. I think he wants to be Jeremy. So I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Talking, to, yeah, talking about, yeah, talking about, uh, yeah. I, I guess he, I, technically he's a pool boy too if you think about it. <laughs> I said, uh, Dixie says, I invented a parachute that opens on impact. Just wear a helmet. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I think, yeah, he does. I do. I do. I'm laughing. I still watch all his shit, though. I still watch all his shit. <laughs> oh. Um. I can't handle those streams. Not enough booze and Xanax. I know, right? I know, right? When, and, I, and I like I don't go into him live anymore. I give him I give him watch time afterward. I def, I def, I definitely go in go into go into it uh, go into it later to watch because <laughs> some of the people you know is his, his his diehard fans like that uh, was fucking phobic Zeno dude that guy's a bitch <laughs> that guy is a fucking bitch man oh man that shit fucking and it fucking cracks me up too I can see him just like dude like and you know what. What's up with the CJH and Max? What happened there? Well, I'm sorry, Jeremy. What happened there? CJH seems all right. I don't know what happened there. Something must have. And what happened with? <gasps> what happened with Jeremy and Daddy? I think Jeremy and Daddy got a divorce. Go watch Jeremy's live stream last night. Fucking hilarity, man. Fucking hilarity. <laughs> so he's, oh, he's definitely talking about the... Oh, yeah, I'm definitely talking about the fool boy. <laughs> oh, for real. Uh, hey, guys, it's been a while. Kyle, hope hope you're doing well, man. Yeah, it has been a while. Hope hope you're doing well. Um, how, how have things been going for you, you know, with, like, Everything going on, you know, like the pandemic and everything. Yeah, it has it has been a little while. Well, I hope you're doing well. I hope everything's going well with you and uh, your family and your loved ones. Uh, number one Marvel fan, the number one Marvel fan says watched EBS all damn morning, near four hours. Woke up and boom, was on. <laughs> nice. Okay. Yeah. You know, and I like. I don't mind EBS. I think EBS is actually pretty funny, dude. He kind of kind of cracks me up. Um. I have a lot of respect for the guy, but I don't subscribe to his channel. Occasionally, I'll stop in and watch, you know, some of the videos and stuff like that. Just, uh, just not enough regular content that I like watching. But I see him on um, other streams and stuff like that, and I'll drop into the. Like I said, I get onto a lot of streams, and I'll just be listening in for you know half hour, you know, just shit like that, you know, just let's just listen in, see what everybody's doing and something talking about. Like, man, I was on one the other day, man. I was on somebody's stream the other day. I'm saying like, you fucking people are amazing, man. <laughs> Some of these fucking people, man. Like, I sit there and they're sitting there like, you ever think like maybe. It's just time to just just throw in the towel, you know. You get no joy out of something, just forget about it, right? Forget about it. You just don't enjoy something anymore. Move on. Just don't enjoy it anymore. Enjoy what you loved about it. What you didn't like about it. Whatever. Don't care. 
don't care. Uh, Terrazon says, yes, Asians are racist against each other. Oh, hell yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Uh, okay, pull the switcheroo on me. No, 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 no. Yeah. No, you you were right. You were right, Irish. You were right. Uh, Camusta? Camusta. Um, Trinity is racist against Myrtle. No, nah, no, nah, I love Myrtle. Um, but Asian women are hot. I know, man. Like, I'm telling you, the other day when I was talking about Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and Zong, uh, what's her name? Zong Zi. And Michelle Yeo, Yeo, how do you say, how do you say her name? Oh, yeah. <sighs> I could watch that movie over and over, man. Not only, I mean, not only because it's a great movie, but yes. <sighs> yeah. My wife's Japanese. Um, my, my next video, uh, my ex video content gets mad traffic from india shouts out to the to the habibs and patels for supporting the counselinger <laughs> oh marquis you fucking crack me up dude you crack me up man um That's funny. Um, Kung Flu Fighting. <laughs> uh, keep one, lose one. Local comic shop or local bike shop. Ooh, you son of a bitch. You son of a... Ooh. Shit. Dude. You sent me down into shut. You 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 put me in shutdown mode. You put me in shutdown mode. Local bike shop or local comic shop. <sighs> I gotta keep my bike shop just because it's my physical fitness and, you know what. I'm gonna have to say comic shop because I already got my bikes. Support your local novelty shop. There you go. Oh, wait. Now I'm confused. Who's talking about? Jeremy or Max? I don't talk about Jeremy. I don't talk about... I don't talk... I don't talk about Jeremy because I don't care about Jeremy. Yeah, I care about Jeremy. I don't even... I, I mean, I very rarely ever even watch his videos. Uh, I just... You know, I, I watch... I did watch some of those ones that were going on when they were talking about the... Uh, dare I even say... The disobedient dog stuff. You know, the disobedient dog stuff? Yeah, yeah. What would you call a disobedient? Naughty? Yeah. Yeah, that. Um, I did watch I did watch some of those. Because, like, that whole, that whole debacle, was, it was bullshit. But at the same time, I mean, you know, you... Obviously, people don't like the sticking your arm in, an, in a fire analogy. I learned that the other day. I guess I could use the put on a condom analogy. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I give you yeah, no. I de def definitely definitely Jeremy. Definitely Jeremy. But not Jeremy from G plus G, no. <laughs> the other one, the wannabe one. <laughs> Max and Daddy had a tip last night. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, they did. It's fucking hilarity. Fucking hilarity! I was sat, I was sat there listening to it this morning. I'm sitting there looking at the chat and shit. I'm like, Jesus Christ, dude! Fucking hilarity, dude. <laughs> I think his yeah, definitely, definitely. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even jab, jabbing at him. But like, like, like I said, Jeremy, I don't, I don't have any problems with Jeremy. I don't have any problems with Max neither. Honestly, I think they're both all right guys. I think they're both all right guys. Um, I'm, I'm definitely, I'm definitely laughing about. Them. I'm definitely laughing about Jeremax right now. <laughs> oh, they're one in the same snow. Yeah, I think they are. I think they are. I think they are. Um, Trinity dismacks every single week. I wish nothing new. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. <laughs> I'm noticing. No, it's because he, you know. That's a, see that's that's my way. I don't have to watch Geeks and Gamers. He watches it. He reacts to it. I just l look at his shit and I laugh. I just fucking laugh because I'm like, bro, <laughs> you're like the fucking mirror version over here. You know, it's like it's like watching it's like it's like it's like all that shit you see out there. 
You see most of the motherfuckers online everywhere. You know, you see the SJWs and the anti-SJWs. And they're fighting. And they're fighting with all their... <laughs> With all their NPC bullshit. And that's the funny thing is, too, is you, you call you call them NPCs and they both say that they're not. They both say that they're not. But then you, you're sitting there looking at them and they're doing this, you know, fighting. And it's like, they're just like mirror versions of each other. It's like... <laughs> you, can't, you can't make things great again mirroring shit. <laughs> Make sure you use lubrication when you Google yourself. Oh, yeah. I, I hate to even think about that. Um, I have no idea what you're talking about. Trying to drunk off 2% water. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I know. Max had gone too far with the channel change. It was funny at first, but it's time to move on. Yeah, he's, he's like... Do you want the truth? Do you want the truth? <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm calling him. Yeah, I'm calling him. Yeah. <laughs> I did on. <laughs> I just started doing that. I, I started doing that. Even. <laughs> I, we were on, uh, what was it, Journos Comics this uh, this afternoon. I was on Journos Comics watching his live stream. And uh, Max, Max was in there and he, he, was, he was like, hey, what's up, man? I was like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, hey, what's up, Jeremy? And he's like, and, you know, I was talking about his video. I was like, hey, I watched your stream last night, man. Good stuff, you know? And he's like, thanks, I think. <laughs> yeah, no, here, 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 here's the truth, guys. Max is an all right guy. You know, I know Max has good intentions. He wants to do stuff. You know what I mean? And I was talking I was talking with Angus about this last week. Me and Angus sat here after the stream last week talking for probably like fucking two hours. Just about shit. And it just sucks. Because Max just takes all his potential. And just pisses it into the wind. The wind's blowing fucking 20 miles an hour in his fucking face. He just pulls it out, fucking pisses right in the wind, and it just gets, like, that's what he does. That's what he does. That's what he does! Because the thing is, he has the potential. He's got the piss in him, you know? He's got the, he's, he, like, he's, he, like, he, like, man... What is that like a? Is that what it like like a muse? Is that what that is? Like somebody who 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 like can guide others and tell them like oh what they can do like you can see what's done to somebody else but you can't do shit for yourself. <laughs> oh man, it's like it, it was funny because me and me and like I said I'm not gonna reveal everything we were talking about. But me and Black Angus were talking about that like dude like like you give it like like he's almost like. What was it we were talking about the other week? The Broken Lizard. The Broken Lizard guys. Like, every single movie they do. Like, Beer Fest. I'm watching it. It's like, oh, ew, oh, the movie's, it's, it's about, it's, it's about there. It's the climax. It's about to be funny. The funny stuff's about to happen. And, 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 uh. <sighs> Your knee was down before... The ball passed the fucking, the end zone, got into the end zone before it broke the plane. Then for the next fucking three downs, we couldn't punch the shit through. Oh, man. And it's, it's, it's sad to watch. It's sad to watch because he, like, he's just like, he's so close. But it's something that I was talking about. If you guys, that might have been on a Patreon stream. Like, he, like... He has the ability to do stuff, but he's like, he don't know what to do with it when he gets it. He don't know what to do with it when he gets it. You know what I mean? He just don't know what to do with it when he gets it.
that, and you know, we all know that he's batshit crazy. He knows it. He knows it. <laughs> but he's a good dude, though. He's a, he, like I know he's a good guy, and he has good intentions. But I mean, he just he does he does the exact same he does the exact same thing that his enemy does. <laughs> uh, Trinity, you don't want to uh, you don't want to know uh, with CJH. Yeah, well, I mean, what happened there anyway? What happened there? I still don't even know what happened with uh, him and Daddy. Still don't know what happened with him and Daddy. I don't know what happened there, but. They sure kept me entertained <laughs> yesterday. Actually, it was today. It was today. It was funny. Uh, Neon Sci-Fi, thank you so much for being here. Says, what I miss? Ah, nothing. Nothing much. Um, doing great. Just wanted... And here, and here's the thing. Uh, yeah, you two... <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see. Uh, where are we at? Uh, bro, I'm doing great. Just wanted to pop in. All right, good deal. Uh, YouTube drama, gotta love it. Do we? Yeah, you do. <laughs> you do. <laughs> uh, the sensitive people is why I'll, I'll go on streams but never have a channel. Right? Yeah, yeah. I, I hear you. Oh, no. <laughs> what stream was that? It was yesterday's stream. <laughs> oh, yeah. Michelle Yeo was fire. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, trends about to just time to go. Oh man, and here's the, here's the thing. Okay, now getting into get, like with, with the thing with Max, like I think he's an alright guy. Like like I said, he just like he gets like he gets going. He just don't like, he don't know what to do with it. He don't know what to do with it. Like you know what was it talking about on was that in Batman where they talking about you know the dog goes and he finally gets a hold of a car. He say, like, he gets he finally gets a hold of that car. He don't know what the fuck to do with the car. He just wanted to, he just wanted to chase the car around. But that's the thing. And here here's the thing though is. You guys all know our friend B level, right? I've actually communicated a lot with B level through um, private chats and stuff like that, in DMs and stuff. Uh, messaged him a lot, <clears throat> and I'll tell you, I'll tell you, like slowly but surely, slowly but surely, this kid's actually gaining my respect. He really is, and I know. There's probably people, some of you guys out there saying, oh, fuck that guy, all this stuff, like, not, you know, like, hey, I was there too, I'm sitting there like, eh, fuck this guy, dude, like, yeah, he's one of these fucking weirdos out there, like, you know, and, you know, he's still out there wanting to fight with the other people in fandoms, and that's the other thing with these things, you know, is, if you're in a fandom, you're part of a fandom, you don't have to fight with other fans about your feelings about a movie, about what you like and don't like, it's okay for the people to have opinions, But slowly but surely, this kid, this kid's actually, you know, been talking to him. I haven't really been watching a whole lot of his videos. I've watched a couple of them. And, you know, seen him in, you know, just seeing him around here. And I'm like, eh, he's finally, I wouldn't, I'm not saying he's growing on me, but he's slowly, slowly gaining my respect. And I know, like I said, some of you guys don't like him, but hey, just because I respect somebody doesn't mean I have to like them. Hell, I, but I think the guy, I think the kids, the guy's an all right guy. But you know what? Sometimes we all get caught up in our own shit and we misrepresent ourselves. It happens. We've all done it. We all do it from time to time. It happens. Um, but I, you know, I've, I've studied, I've studied, talked to him a lot in DMs and everything, and I think he's doing okay. You know, I mean, I, I'm not sure how old he is neither, but hey, you know, you, you, you live, you learn, you go on. Maybe, maybe you're. Maybe you get better at your rhetoric. Maybe you just learn, you know, be better debating skills. Maybe you just get better arguing points. Whatever it is, doesn't matter. Regardless of anything, I've actually started to gain some respect for the kid. He's actually doing okay. He's actually doing all right. Um, David Lee Wrath, what's going on, man? Uh, are you on something? You looked hyped, but kind of weird. Are you doing a coffee fast? No, <laughs> actually, you know what it is? I'm fucking dead tired. <laughs> dead tired uh still going madman yeah still man schmegma what's that max <laughs> jeremy equals Jax. okay Jax. Jax. like uh that reminds me of Jax on you know um uh, yeah mortal Kombat. sjw should stand for a female body <laughs> building competition called super jacked women it, it could it could how far behind is he uh, a little bit a little bit um we in the third act he <laughs> get into act two Oh, I don't think that word means what you think it means. <laughs> oh no, which one? 
Which one? Then if you talk, you never talk to me after streams for two minutes. Wow, second, it's because you always duck out, man. No, I'm just joking. No, but you know what it was like. Uh, I, I, I've been meaning to get with Angus for a long time, uh, wanting to get with him for a long time and just talk about shit. Uh, I actually think I honestly really think. Uh, I actually really do think uh, Angus is actually a, a pretty cool guy. I actually really do like the guy. And I think uh, he, he got a bad rap. We all know the time. We all know the time that he got, he, he kind of, he pretty much got jumped by a lot of people. Um, but I think, I actually think regardless of anything, how you feel about him, I actually, same thing, same thing with him. I actually, I really do think he's an all right guy and I actually like Angus. And that's why, you know, we were sitting there talking for like two hours. I'm saying, like, shit, we're fucking like two, like, what are we, a, a fucking couple of like 16 year old girls here? <laughs> oh, anticlimactic is the word he's looking for. Anticlimactic is the word. Oh, what? What? What was I talking about? What was I talking about? <laughs> oh, man. Um, my bro, unstoppable. <laughs> my unflappable. God, man. We'll be drinking Chester. <laughs> oh, who the fuck's Jeremy? Oh, it's... Yeah, it's... These people. It's this guy who got a channel that has a secret admirer who follows him around with flowers and binoculars. Probably a rope and some duct tape, I would guess, as well. Probably has one of those big, creepy flashlights. Mag lights. David the Rath of YouTube. Yeah, at first I thought he was talking about the quartering. No, I don't watch that. I, I certainly don't watch that guy. <clears throat> Last time I watched the quartering, man. Oh, man. Um, I, I don't think I was ever subscribed to the quartering, but, like, all the videos... Seriously, like, every video... Every video I've ever seen of the quartering is him crying... Literally, like, like him whining about, like, seriously, like, not, not like literary con, but whining. Literally whining about something. And about every 60 seconds, he's talking about the Super Chats and the Patreons. Go, support him. Like, I, seriously, I, I watch, I, I can't remember, like, there was, there was a little, something was going on at one point, and I, watched, I went and I watched probably, like, Five, six, I don't know, probably ten max of his videos. Not all at once, but I, I sat there I sat there and watched him like, dude, like this guy literally like every single one of these videos sounds like this motherfucker is whining. And every sixty seconds he's asking for a fucking super chat. And fucking like I get like hey, I'm not against that. Hey, like I've got Patreon and Super Chat all that stuff too. It's not about that, but like you're not gonna hear me flap my gums about that shit every fucking five minutes. Please guys, please. I, I'm not a camper. I actually have a job. I have a business. I run my own business. So he says, uh, not going into Max and all. Yeah, you know, I'm, if I really want to know about it, I'll, 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 uh, I'll, t I'll talk to him. I'm not worried about it. And I, I think for the most part is, doesn't really matter. And, uh, I can't say I didn't see it coming. That's really about it. Are people fighting on the internet again? Constantly. Dude, Chris, where have you been? People have been confined to their houses and people are losing their shit. And I'm laughing because, like, to me, like, it's hilarity. It's, it's hilarity, but I don't find it funny because it's fucking sad. But, like, I'm on, like, I, I get on, like, Facebook, I see it. I get on Instagram, I see it. Maybe not Instagram as much. But believe me, I've seen it. And Twitter and just see all these people who this lack of interaction is seriously, seriously, seriously hurting their mental health. These people need some more interaction. They need to get out in the world. I'm willing to bet chances are they probably need <laughs> they probably need some fresh air and get some fucking sun on their skin. It's been a while. <laughs> Oh, man. <clears throat> Ever meet a Jeremy who wasn't white? I don't think so. Okay, all right. Rare is a unicorn Jordans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I have. Uh, CJH on the other hand, uh, turn troll with everyone for no reason, uh, more or less. Yeah, you know, and it's funny because, like, uh, when, when, I, when I first realized that they weren't fighting, I, I actually messaged, uh, I actually messaged, 
Believe it or not, like I said, I actually do like Max and I do care about what's going on. Um, I actually messaged CJ because I'm like, eh, what's going on there? I messaged him like, hey man, what what happened with you and Max? I'm going going to him to ask you. Know, or I know I know if I if I message Matt, Max and ask you know, I'll be like, hey, he talks to you. Know, just I was like, huh, what's what's all that? What's all that about? What's all that about? And I don't know. He didn't really say much. He's like, oh, just you know, some drama, pretty much. And all right, I'm not gonna. I, if I ask you about it, I'm not gonna force you to tell me. I'm just gonna reach out and ask how it is. And you know, you don't have nobody. Nobody has to give up information. I just ask because I'm curious. You know, believe it or not, I do care about things. Stuff like that, I do. Oh, you know, <laughs> I still have no clue what B level is. He's a YouTuber. Uh, he's a YouTuber. I would have if you weren't reminding me. Oh, hit the like button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think I cut a YouTube drama guy. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Uh, is Trinity telling people not to take YouTube seriously again? No, no. You you can take it seriously. That's fine. You can take it seriously. Oh, uh, I think. I, yeah, yeah. Um, did he really say? That? That his hair is in hibernation? No, 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 no. It's not in hibernation. It's migrating. It's not. It's not hibernating. It's migrating. My hair is migrating. It's migrating from the front of my head down the back of my neck. <clears throat> Absolutely. Uh, black ink. Uh, black ink is cool in my book. His content just ain't for me. Only the strong survive. Yeah, I was just saying like, um, yeah, and you know, his his videos like he's. You can tell by his his videos. He's not like black ink. He's not trying to be like super big youtuber and all that stuff like he he's doing his channel he's just he's just doing his thing but yeah yeah no he's uh black angus is definitely a cool dude uh yeah he's always like hey 22 year old stop fighting on youtube what's sad chris is that i see 22 year olds who conduct themselves better than these uh, people who have been adults for longer <laughs> I can't talk shit though. I have the Jack Nicholson hairline. Nice. Hey, yeah, hey, that's alright. Jack Nicholson hairline is a Christian Slater hairline. Um, who do you think would win? Wait, who would win in a bikini mud wrestling match with the underside spandex suits? Iggy Pop or Clint Eastwood? I've got to. I've got to go with Clint Eastwood for sure. Yeah, Eastwood for sure. Yeah. See, R.C. Scott knows. Colonel Angus says howdy. How are you doing? Um, have a good night. It's been great hanging out. All right, have a good night, Mike Porter. Yeah, I need to get out of here too, man. <clears throat> he would probably be too jacked up on heroin to do anything. Yeah, true. Go fishing. Yeah, absolutely. I support like a jockstrap. Y'all <laughs> slap the like button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, hey, I'm talking about the current Iggy. Clint's, Clint's 89. Iggy's 73. That's a hell of a difference. And Iggy's, Iggy's hung like a blue whale. <laughs> Don't matter. Clint will still take him down. <laughs> He's probably used to the choke hook. Yeah. <laughs> that would phase Eastwood. That would... You ever see him hanging high? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Spill the tea. Oh, man. My quarantine activities are sharpen knives and reload ammunition. Hey, man. That's uh, productive. Productive. Uh, man, all these YouTubers beefing in their 40s. Fool. They're like in their fucking 40s and 50s. Seriously, some of the biggest bitches I've met here on fucking YouTube are in their 40s and 50s acting like they're fucking 16, fucking 13 year old girls. And it's fucking like, it cracks me up. It cracks me up. Would you wrestle Iggy Pop in the nude? In the, in the nude? No. No. R.C. Scott says, wonder why I don't do videos. No, no, and here's the thing, R.C. Scott, is, is there's nothing wrong with doing the videos. That's fine. You know, do the videos. Um, go on there. Criticize people, you know, whether it's just the person themselves or what they're doing. They're, you know, feel free to do all that. So I have, I have no problem with that. That's okay. That's okay if you do that. I'm I'm perfectly okay with people voicing their opinions, no matter how they feel, whether they th feel the same as I do, whether they don't, whether they agree with me, disagree, all that bullshit. I don't care about that. I don't care. Let's just have the conversation for one. But 
Um, the thing is, is when you go and you make a video and somebody criticizes you, don't just let it shatter your ego and make it cry. And don't sit there and act like a fucking bitch about it. Like, oh, 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 I was criticizing something and somebody dares comes and criticizes me. Oh, yeah. Bro, we're on the fucking internet. That's what people do. It's the fucking internet. Everybody criticizes everybody on the internet. Your fucking mom criticizes people in, on the internet. You don't think she don't either. She gets on the fucking Facebooks and scrolls and sees motherfuckers acting out. And she goes, Poor child, poor child. She's scrolling. She judging. But you know what she's not doing? Is going, oh, 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 oh. I better make a video about this. I better make a video about being criticized. I gotta take that personally. <laughs> That's the problem is everybody takes the criticism so personally. That's the thing is like, every, and that's the thing is don't take it personally. Everybody takes it personally. I've seen a couple, not many, you know, because nobody fucking cares about me and that's okay. That's okay. You know why nobody cares about me to make fucking videos talking shit about me? Because they're not going to get a reaction out of me. Because I don't give a fuck it has nothing to do with me having a big ego if anything it has to do with the fucking lack of ego cause I don't care you don't like what I say that's okay make a video about it criticize me and talk shit that's okay I'll sit there and I if, if I take the time to watch it I might watch it and be like hey cool you know hey. Bravo! I got. Like, I don't get. Like I don't care about that stuff. They're like, they're like do it. Like doing this, all that stuff. This doesn't feed my ego. I don't fucking care. Like I said, I, I run my own business. Like, like I'm just thankful to have people here that like to come here and watch me um, talk about comic books, talk about uh, movies, talk about music, and interact with you all. That's that's all I care about. That's all I want to do. I'm not here. Like you know. We spent some time here talking about all this stuff, and this is and this is the only time I generally talk about this stuff is here on the Trailer Park Live for that reason, you know. Like this is this is the time to get it all out there. You know, I want all my content being all that shit, talking about one person or two people. I'd rather talk about some comic books that I read, whether I liked them or not. And if I liked it, I'm going to talk about it even more. If I loved it, I'm going to talk about it more and more and more. If I didn't, if I really didn't like it, I might talk about it later. I might talk about it again later. When I'm bringing up, when I need to reference a book that I thought was bad and I didn't like. Um, and that's it. You know what I mean? It's okay. You know? That's the thing that everybody seems to forget when they, when they when they get into these spaces, these spheres. You know, you start your YouTube channel. You, you maybe you join your little fan group. You find some buddies and you hang out and shit. And you know, uh, like people like just like they they, they 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 just look into it too much. It can be fun. People can criticize you. That's what we're here for. You grow and you learn from criticism. So that's why you should still listen to your critics. You should still listen to your critics. Because you grow from them. You learn from them. You can still learn stuff from a troll. You can. You might not know how, but you can. And that's the thing, you know, just that that's just it. That's just it. You know? That's where we're at. But too many of these people get here on this shit and they look too far into stuff and they, they get all butt hurt. <laughs> Somebody criticized me. You know what I mean? Meanwhile, these same people who fucking cry all the time about somebody criticizing them do nothing but get on their videos and sit there and fucking criticize people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. You know, like, you know, 
Yeah. Um, and of course, one could save alternate. You review comic books. You're criticizing them because uh, criticism isn't always good, and it isn't always bad, right? Saying I think a comic book is great. I fucking love the art. The story is fucking great. And I think you should be uh, reading it. That's being critical. That's being critical. Right? I'm critiquing the shit. That's being critical. Just because I'm not slamming it that, you know, you know. Or is that where the difference between critiquing and being critical? Nah, I don't know. I don't know, but yeah, that's 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 really about it, you know. It's just, it, but it's just, it's the same everywhere, you know. Uh, a lot of people just look too far into the into stuff, you know. You know, you you got people, you know, like the try, and that's the funny thing, you know, because you get all those people like the backhanded comments, and somebody makes a comment, you know, they they're meaning it, saying it to be nice, but it's a backhanded comment. Like, why don't you just tell me fuck you? Why don't you just tell me fuck you? It's okay, I can take it. I can take it. I can take the fuck you. It's okay. I don't mind. I'm an adult. I grew up. Believe me. <laughs> Believe me. I know it might be hard for you as somebody sitting there on YouTube making videos. And maybe you watching me here on video and stuff. But believe me when I say. I've had people say fuck you to my face. I've had people say worse shit to my fucking face. And you know what? still didn't care <laughs> I still didn't fucking care that's the thing I, so what like, how am I supposed to be mad about people having opinions whether I think you're fucking stupid for your opinion whether I disagree with you or whether I agree with you <laughs> it's okay for people to have to, and I think that's what people always seem to forget about like you know like people's opinions don't mean you they're not a i mean they just don't like you or they have their opinion it's, it's not reflective of who you are you shouldn't look into it by any means whatsoever looking into it like oh i'm a bad person or oh hey you know letting it build you up and getting that big fucking head and that big fucking ego to where when somebody does finally say something it's just like they go up with a little pin to a little to to a balloon <laughs> But it doesn't even sizzle out and like fucking... It's not like one of those ones that shoots all over the room. It just fucking explodes. <laughs> oh, it's funny. It's funny. Okay. Where are we at? Um, he said, I'm straight, bro. Nobody wants to see my, my mug on here. Um, Who would you wrestle to the death from the music business? Um, to the death, <laughs> um, who, who would you wrestle in the, to the death from the music business? Who would I wrestle to the death? Man, I don't know. Technically, Scarlett Johansson made music. She's got an album out. So we'll go there. We'll go there. Our six out the day I stopped laughing is the day I stopped making videos. Oh yeah, absolutely. Go all ancient Greek uh, wrestling covered in olive oil. Yeah. I'm straight <laughs> Um After what happened to that umbrella guy? Nope. Yeah. And and here here's the thing. Like I I know what's going on and, and with, with with that with that stuff. But here here's the easiest thing ultimately. Um, for stuff like that, people always worry about oh doxing and all that stuff is. The easiest way, and I've said that I've certainly said this before, especially even like about situations like this. The easiest way to avoid shit like that is to not be a fucking asshole to people. And the other way is when you come across the fucking weirdos, just leave them be. It's just when you find somebody that's a fucking weirdo, just let them be. Just Fucking let him be a weirdo. Just go be a weirdo, dude. Go. Just. I'm good. I don't even see you over there. I don't even see you over there. 
calmer than you are, dude. Uh, yeah, that, and then, that, yeah, as I was say, that's what, that's what that is. The thing is, is, uh, most of the people that this, that have to worry about doxing and do all this shit are fucking assholes to people online. And they're fucking fighting with a bunch of fucking weirdos who are literally a bunch of fucking weirdos who would do some shit like that. Um, yeah, th and th that's, that's what that boils down to. Just don't be a fucking asshole to people online. Should be good. It <laughs> should be good. Now I know there's probably some examples of people out there who weren't fucking assholes to people online who, you know, had some crazy fucking weirdo fucking after them. But again, it still comes down to one thing. Fucking weirdo. <laughs> when you come across them, just... just... Just leave them out there. I can't understand how some people can waste their time and energy to a uh, YouTube beef. I get mentally exhausted just looking at some of the petty shit that people post on the internet. Oh, yeah. Dude, yeah. Well, and that's kind of how I ended up on YouTube. Imagine that. I, I, I ended up here on YouTube to leave Facebook drama. And that's the thing I was talking about the other day is uh, when when you get on, on Twitter, you know, a lot of people say Twitter's worse. Um, I actually think Twitter's better. Short, sweet, to the point. Um, you got all the faceless trolls on there, but they're faceless trolls, and it doesn't matter. They're fucking assholes, and they're fucking faceless trolls, but then you get on Facebook, and the people that I know, that or that I thought I knew, <laughs> are these people. They're not faceless, and they do the same shit to people. These fucking people delete their family members over fucking political fucking bullshit. Who the fuck cares about politics that much that you're going to be like, oh, fuck my aunt. I'm deleting that bitch. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, man. Um, yeah. Uh, whatever, whatever people think of me is none of my business. Yeah, yeah exactly. I mean, it, it's, it's like... It's okay. It's it's okay to wonder what people think about you. It's okay um, to want people to not think you're a bad person. I don't think anybody wants to, for people to think they're a bad person. But other than that, like, um, I mean, you're, really, I mean, what other people? I mean, what other people think of you is your business. But like, is it something to your business to the point where you should care and put any effort into trying to make? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. What can I do to get you to like me and be my friend? You know, nah. yeah. Um, criticism, hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, apathy is great. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get called racial slurs daily, and I laugh at them all. Yeah, yeah. And that's the thing. You know, yeah. I wasn't saying I've seen some of your comments. You know, but like I see some people that see that get some of your videos, and they're like crushed. Like, oh, this person's. Oh, racist and all that stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He comments, commented some racist shit, but that's not what I'm worried about. You know why? Because I'm not even worried about that fucking ass. He's a fucking asshole. What do I need to give him any... What do I need to give him any attention for? <laughs> Fuck that guy, you know? <laughs> oh, while I eat ice cream with cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if you eat ice cream and cake, you're practically immune to insults of any kind. Oh, yeah, totally, totally. Yeah, totally. Ten. I think that's 10 plus strength and 20 plus uh, defense. Oh, Baskin Robbins makes great, uh, uh, makes cakes made of ice cream. Yeah, they do. Ooh, so does, ooh, Cold Stone. Um, deeply wrapped cake and ice cream is good. Yeah, it is. I just had Reese's Peanut Butter Cupcake. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Um, Rocky Road. Okay, yeah, talking about criticism and all that. There's a Savage Conan the Barbarian quote that says, Civilized men are more discourteous than savages. Because they know they can be impolite without having their skull split as a general thing. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's totally true. Totally true. Um, that actually makes perfect fucking sense. Um, which is really great, too, if you think about it. If you think about what the word sophisticated. Sophisticated. I'm so sophisticated. Do you got, would you guys... Care to have a sophisticated conversation about something? 
Let's talk about it and be sophisticated. <sighs> you know what a sophist is? A sophist is basically... I guess you could say a, a sophist is basically a philosopher who specializes in rhetoric. For the most part, a sophist, what a sophist does is they just argue for argument's sake. Not because they believe in the conversation they're having. Not because they believe in the argument they're having. Not that they believe in the fucking words that are coming out of their mouth. A fucking sophist just wants to argue for argument's sake. And those people are fucking everywhere. Fucking everywhere. Fuck, they're all over fucking YouTube, man. And, and that's the thing, is like... <laughs> Like, like, people can't seem to realize, you know, look at the world, everything around you. It's really funny, too, when you see all this bullshit. You know, when you're driving down the road, driving, you see one of those cars with all the stickers on it. Probably has a sticker on it, a little... <coughs> Excuse me. Circle like the little oval white ones. This is 13.1. Maybe there's a picture with the little family. It's got the guy and his wife. His daughter. This is his son. Little doggy. The kitty cat. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> and they've got that coexist sticker on it coexist <laughs> people have coexisted in the fucking world forever this is not a fucking new i concept it's not a new fucking idea oh but people have waged wars and they're not getting along well, people don't get along <laughs> people People just don't get along. People don't like other people. Not everybody likes everybody. How like I I feel like I'm taking crazy pills when like these like these fucking people just don't get it. Not everybody's gonna like you. Not everybody's everybody's cup of tea. You know like yeah. <laughs> Blackberry covered vanilla ice cream. Imagine having some cake and ice cream and worrying about people hiding behind fake names online at the same time. <laughs> oh yeah, that's funny. <clears throat> Re right um damn it i want some ice cream i know dude what's it like <clears throat> i know y'all are gonna say i'm a basic bitch but i just like vanilla bean give me some vanilla bean i'm fucking good to go just plain vanilla bean i'm good i can do everything i could do a lot with vanilla bean i can do a lot with it i can do a lot with it i don't like chocolate ice cream I'm not really into chocolate ice cream I love, I love uh, chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. Strawberry ice cream is good. You know what? Like, I love Cold Stone. Overpriced, but I love Cold Stone. Opinions are like assholes. Everyone has one. Yep, yep. And opinions are like assholes. Where it's okay to pucker up and defend them. <laughs> Out of wrestle China. Uh, rest in peace, China. Yeah, yeah. I heard one song. Uh, I heard one song by Scarlett Johansson almost turned me off to all. <laughs> turned me off to all music altogether. At least she has her looks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she has her looks and her acting ability. She is a good. She is a good actress. She is a good actress. Um, I have never hid my name. Uh, hid my name. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that's why I say you just. Uh, there's no real. There's no real reason to. Um, just don't be an asshole to people. And avoid weirdos. Now, like I said, they're weirdos. So they can be hard to avoid. <laughs> uh, Nickelback is my favorite band. Oof. Hmm. Never let school interfere with your education. 
Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, don't let school interfere with your education, that's for sure. Um, I can see him walking up to a group and saying that, <laughs> right? <laughs> Never let education interfere with your school. No, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Sophisticated, yeah. Uh, gotta love a Trinity stream. Hey, you have to. Um, issue confusion, yeah. I saw a, fam a family decal on the back of somebody's car that had them connected like a human centipede. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Feed her Samantha. Uh, RC Scott says, uh, do, uh, you don't like chocolate ice cream? The fuck? Yeah, I don't. I just, I don't like chocolate ice cream. And like I said, I'm a, I'm a basic bitch. I mean, it's not even vanilla. It's not even, and that's the thing. Basic bitch. It's okay. I'll take, I'll take it on this one. Because it's not even just like vanilla that I like. It's not even vanilla. Not just plain vanilla. Not just, you know, you can go get some great value at Walmart vanilla. Not just, you know, just plain vanilla. No, no, no. I've got to be basic. And I've got to be a bitch. I've got to be as basic bitch as possible with my ice cream. And go with vanilla bean. Vanilla bean. <laughs> You can do anything with vanilla ice cream. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I like the Samoan Girl Scout cookies. Oh, yeah, Samoas? No, no, Samoan. Yeah, the Samoas? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, like not eating. <laughs> no. Oh, man. All right, guys. All right, man. You guys have been too funny, man. Too funny. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Good times. Good times. Always good times hanging out with you guys, uh, talking about stuff. And like I said, you know, um, <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, you know, and the thing is, is like, I know, you know, we're in here talking to her like, oh, you're talking about Max. Ah, shit, he talks about Max every week. And here's the thing. Part of the reason why you guys know here on the show, here on most of my videos and stuff, I talk about things I care about. I talk about things that interest me. And a lot of that, uh, one of the things that has interested me for a long time is observing people. Observing people, seeing how they are, how they react, how they interact um, with others, with certain people on certain streams and certain chats and certain other interactions. Like, I, 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 I take it all in and I absorb it all. But, like, like I said, like, Max, I really do like Max. I think he's an alright guy. And, you know what, I... I'm not trying to say I try to try to help the guy out or anything. I'm, fuck, I'm, I, I'm nobody to offer anybody fucking help. But I just know, like I said, I know the dude can do better, and it's just like, but he's got this mental hangup, you know. He's got this mental hangup with just, you know. It's like, dude, just, just. There's so much more to see so much more to see and also because you know I, I hate and maybe maybe that's what it is because I grew up I grew up this way too I grew up this way too but I hate to see somebody waste their talent you know what I mean because like I was saying earlier I think Max you know albeit hijacking fandom <laughs> I'm kidding sort of but the thing is, is, uh, like, he's, he's, he's got the, like, he could, he could do, like, uh, I was talking about this on, on, on one of my streams before, but it's all about the law of the lid. Just look up the law of the lid. If you can figure out what that is, if you can get the, if he could feel, like, if he could figure out the law of the lid. Sky's the limit. Well, not really, according to the law of the lid, but, yeah, it's just, like, so much more to see there's so much more to do go out there and experience the world don't just sit there and watch the world from your room on a little screen hooked up to the internet go out into the world experience it so much more to see it's not just this it's, it's all out there 
Max has the mental <laughs> mental hang up with bro like you do with me. Yeah, that's true. That's true, LB. But that's you know what it is, LB? I'm not sure I should say this neither. I'm not even sure I should say, but it has to do with chocolatey goodness, LB. Yeah. Not even kidding, bruh. Not even kidding, bruh. Yeah. Always had the fever myself. Always had the fever myself. Not not for dudes, of course, but... You know what I'm saying, huh? What can I say? <laughs> uh, ice cream is the food of the gods, just like an average peanut butter sandwich. Oh, I know, right? Yeah. Do you like ba Black Dahlia Murder? A uh, new album just dropped. It's pretty badass. No, I, I've never listened to him. I mean, I've heard the band. I've just never listened to him. I'll, I'll check it out. I'll have to check that out. Um, hey, you're always talking about... Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, poor Max. Yeah, well, and, 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 well, and Snow knows. I mean, S Snow collaborates with him a lot still. He don't really message me or talk to me anymore. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. Um... But like I said, I li I like the guy. But uh, like that, that that's the thing is like that's kind of how I feel. Like this is like man, it's like come on, man. Like <sighs> wasted potential, man. Like you could do so much more. You could do so much more. Because look at him. He's got a per he's got he's got a personality that brings people in, that makes people be like, oh hey, like for whatever reason, I want to go see what this madman has to say. He can bring people in. He can get them there. He can get them listening to him. You can even see it in his that in that last video that he did last night when on his live stream last night. He can get them in. He can get them there. He can get them all listening. He can't get them to throw the fucking hands in the air, throw them fucking horns up. You know what I mean? He can't get them to do that. You know. He can't get him to buy the album and the t-shirt before they fucking leave. You know? That's what he can't do. He just, like, it's just like, it's just like that little thing he can't do. He gets them all there, though, and they all listen. They all rock out. Yeah, and that's the thing, is they're rocking out. But they won't throw them fucking horns up. They won't buy the t-shirt and take it home with them. And the fucking CD and listen to it and jam it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um... Daddy don't love him anymore. He's an abusive parent. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. But yeah, that, that's 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 the thing though. It's like, uh, you know, he's just he's like you know, he's, he's there. He's like, <sighs> he can open the show. He can't close the show. He's not the headliner. But he could be. That's the thing. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Like I said, I wouldn't even t talk about it if I didn't even really care. Um, all right, back to some anime later, homie. Uh, see you in a galaxy far, far away, LB. Hell yeah. Right on, man. And LB, aren't you doing... Uh, are you doing another Star Wars stream tomorrow? I thought i seen. Is that tomorrow you're doing another stream? I think. Another another rewatch stream? Probably probably join you for that one as well. Um, anyway, guys, like I did, I only planned on being on here for like an hour, and I didn't dare start the show off by saying that I wanted it to be a short stream because every time I do that, it ends up going for way too long. Because believe me, when I started off the stream, I was tired as hell. But getting here, sitting down, hanging out with you guys, talking about stuff, it wakes me up and it makes me feel better. And getting together with you guys is always a good time. Uh, always a great time getting together with great people, having great conversations, even though we've talked about a lot of stuff. And yeah, we've talked about some people and stuff. doesn't mean that we're not having a good time, and it doesn't mean that we're just sitting here being a bunch of fucking assholes. And I've done that before, too. But it's really not as fun. Let's really talk, you know, let's just talk. Always great to be here with you guys. Uh, <laughs> it's just now. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. They, uh, hey, man. can't say that I can't say that I did not see it coming can't say I didn't see it coming yes Return of the Jedi okay awesome sweet well, make sure to check it out guys make sure you guys yeah go check out uh, the Lonely Banters channel make sure you subscribe check out Snowdub's channel go check him out 
go subscribe. Uh, anybody else who's been here in the chat, who else is in here anyway who has channels? Stories by Irish, I know she has a channel. Go check it out, subscribe. Uh, go check out Tommy's channel. He's been doing a lot of great retro reviews on some movies uh as well as as uh as well as like uh some retro toy reviews and things like that just and a lot of them not even just like reviews but like talking about the the things that came out he recently uh did one talking about like uh the ninja turtles teenage mutant ninja turtles and stuff so i uh, go check go check out his videos he does uh he's been doing uh so uh, you've been like I noticed since like Jan I think was January February he's really been picking up more on doing more and more videos like they're getting more out regularly so make sure you go check him out uh, anybody else here who's who else is here in the chat that has channels man um, but go get, go check everybody else's stuff out man there's a lot of great people that come here and hang out uh, in the chats and interact with you all but anyway that's all I have for the Trailer Park Live tonight guys thank you all so much for being here um, I'm not sure. I, depending on how things go tomorrow, uh, if I'm going to be doing, if I'm going to be working or not, if I'll be able to get together with Chris uh, from Chaos and Comics and Dylan from Dylan's Comics uh, to do a comic book live stream. Just weekends have been different for me uh, with everything going on right now, guys. Like uh, you would think things would be, you know, slower and everything, but as, as time has gone on, just trying to um, keep my business open, keep it afloat, keep uh, money uh, at least flowing in and keeping uh, my bills paid at least. But, uh, yeah, so it's been a little bit, it's, it's been different, man. It's been crazy. It's been crazy. It's been crazy. But that's all I have for uh, tonight, guys. Thank you all so much for being here. You all have a very good day. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you in the next video. Later.